Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well. Hello from my board games and my vinegar left over from the other night. I had some of my cousins round. Um, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I wanted to post a little quick video about Birchbox. Um, you may have noticed that I never did a Birchbox unboxing for the month of August. They, taught, I think towards the end of July, they changed some of their website and so you had to click like a, a verification or an activation link through your email to the new website to like create another account. So I did that and I created another account. They said on the website, you know, it may not show that you have like subscriptions, all your information won't be completed in there yet, but it will be at some point. We're just like trying to get through it. So I was like, okay, nothing to worry about. Um, then it got to like the beginning of August and there had been like a bit of a delay in them sending the August boxes, but I had never, the money hadn't come out of my account. Normally it comes out, I think on the first of every month. It hadn't been taken out of my account. I sent them a message on Instagram and they said send us an email. So I sent them an email um, with all the information they needed uh, and basically said I my money hasn't come out. I really want to get the August box. I've been a subscriber for about five years. I don't I'm scared to sign up again because then it's not going to recognise me as like a VIP person anymore. You become a VIP, I think when you've been getting your boxes for about six months, it gives you like an extra discount on the Birchbox shop. To be honest, I never really use the Birchbox shop. Um, but I still wanted, like, just in case, you know? Um, especially with the Christmas coming up in the next few months. I don't know if I should mention that yet. Although on Radio 1, on Scott Mills' last day, he did play... Uh, all I want for Christmas is you. But um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I sent them an email and kind of said my dilemma really that I still want to be a subscriber. Um, I just want them to update my account to show that how long I've been subscribed for and can I get August box. That was two and a half weeks ago and I've had absolutely nothing back. Um, so as it stands at the moment, I'm not a subscriber of Birchbox anymore and while I was subscribed to them I didn't really ever think I would stop being a subscriber however now all of a sudden I'm not and I, I feel like I'm kind of free to look at other boxes I don't know so I want to like pose a question to you propose a question do you think, and I know at the end of the day it's my decision on what I want, but do I resubscribe to Birchbox? I'll probably send them another email, chase them up again. They probably won't get back to me until like September anyway, and then I might miss September's box. I don't know. Do I chase them up slash resubscribe to Birchbox and continue doing Birchbox unboxings because that might be a video that you watch on my channel and that you regularly watch on my channel. I know there's a couple of other people who get Birchbox as well and we compare what we got or do I go for something else? Are there any other boxes that you feel like people aren't really unboxing and you would like someone to unbox? There are so many people who do glossy box um, and I'm not that interested in glossy box, but there are just so many other possibilities. I also feel like you kind of get to a stage, I don't know if many other people who subscribe to boxes feel this way, you start getting everything and receiving all this new stuff and it's amazing, you've got so much stuff to try and you're really exploring and all that kind of stuff, but then at the end of the day, you have really basic favourites that you always use, like I have, um, an eyebrow pencil and powder that I always use and it's like I'd rather just repurchase that than have another powder or pencil to try or you know I get eyeliners but I don't wear eyeliner which like fair enough like so should I even do a makeup box I could do something completely different I could do the Lush subscription box I could do I don't know, anything. Um, there is uh, a discovered beauty box that Lady Marwa does and uh, I think they look really good. 
so yeah that's kind of my thought process at the moment i'm tempted to start something new and to start unboxing something new but i would like to hear other people's opinions um so yeah please write down below let me know what you think let me know if there's any other boxes that you've been interested in if you get a box that you feel like not many people unbox um on youtube let me know what it is um and i'm really eager to kind of look around all these different boxes and see one that might jump out to me um i have been kind of interested in if there's any kind of scrapbooking or journaling ones um i don't know but yeah just lots of options and i feel like now i've kind of been given you know i'm not subscribed to birchbox anymore um so i feel like i could maybe go for something else instead so yeah please let me know <laughs> i've also been looking at advent calendars the body shop ones are out now i'm not getting any of them i don't want any of them none of their advent calendars have their christmas scents in and they haven't for the last year maybe two years they've just got the kind of normal scents that they always sell in the shop and i want the christmas scents i want the christmas stuff in the advent calendar still of course it's good value for money but yeah so i'm thinking i'm gonna get uh, the treat box advent calendar which is just like a little bit more random lifestyle products i think i might get that i'm loving looking online at, because at the moment lots of advent calendars are kind of like popping up aren't they and there is a blog that i follow called really re i feel like she always has the first knowledge of like any advent calendar and she will even if she just gets like a picture of what the box looks like she'll post a blog post on it and then once she gets the content she then updates it and um she lets you know what date and time they're going to be available how much they're going to be what they're worth um what they look like how many doors there are ah. <laughs> also though if you're a birchbox subscriber i think you get a discount from the advent calendar <sighs> I feel like the possibilities are endless. The subscription box world is my oyster. <laughs> but yeah, please let me know your thoughts down below. Um, and thank you very much for watching this video. I have got a couple more coming up. Uh, I've got my thoughts on the ASOS box, so like my reviewing beauty box products. Um, and I also filmed a weekly vlog. I just need to edit it because weekly vlogs take a long time to edit. Um, and yeah, other stuff. So stick around um and thank you for watching and i will see you next weekend in my next video